So over here, I'm in my InDesign layout view. So what I can do over here is uh, create a table and work with it. And to do that, simply keep your cursor over here as you're in the text uh, type tool. So I'm just over here and then I'm going to click on table and then I'm going to click on insert table. So once I click on insert table, you can see that I can select the number of body rows and columns. So let me just select two body rows and two columns, for example. And over here, there's a header row as well. And I can also add in a footer row. So I'm just going to go around with a header row and uh, the table style is going to be basic table because we are not working with styles yet. So we have body rows two, column two and header row one. And I'm going to press OK. So now I have one header row. As you can see, I got two body rows. So now I can simply start entering data. So on the first part right here on the top left hand side, I'm just going to type in serial number just like this. And then over here, I'm going to say item name just like this. So this is going to be one, two, and this is going to be Adobe InDesign and uh, Adobe. I'm just going to press tab and that will allow me to uh, go around and uh, uh, navigate to different cells as well. So I'm just going to type Adobe in copy right over here. If I were to press tab again, then a new uh, row is added in. So I can just press three and I can use my arrow keys as well to type in Adobe Photoshop just like this. And of course, I can rearrange and do everything else with this as well. So I can go around, select this around, make it bold just like this. I can go around, add more and everything else. So number four, Adobe Illustrator, just like this. So this is how you can insert and um, enter data into tables and further lessons, we're going to see further uh, table adjustment options. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.